Hi, welcome to this episode of Toys Bag Zen. Today, I'm going to do a little bit more 3D printing. I have done one video on 3D printing already, and uh, here's a second one that I'm going to do. I've been 3D printing all summer long. We're going to be printing out a whole bunch of the Electro Staffs for the vintage Kenner 1983 Royal Guards. be taking these Royal Guards from Kenner released in 1983 and I'm going to equip them with some 3D printed electro staffs. I've got several electro staffs here and, um, and I have several versions of these vintage Kenner figures. Let's compare these figures. They are a little different mostly with their cloaks. You can see the one on the right the cloak is a little bit more uh, fluffy compared to the one on the left and if we look on the figure on the right you can see that it was made in Hong Kong you can see here it says 1983 Hong Kong on the back of the leg and the figure on the left you can see it says 1983 Taiwan made in Taiwan Essentially, the molds of the figures are exactly the same, except for the printing on the back of the legs. But you can also see that the figure on the left doesn't have the cloaks as fluffy. It's not uh, the, the material isn't as, a, as fluffy of a material. And I can re really vividly recall my figures that I had as a kid were like the ones on the left made from Taiwan. I have three from Taiwan two from Hong Kong and then we have this figure the cloak on this one is not quite as fluffy as the ones on the right but a little bit fluffier than the ones on the left the one in the middle here it has nothing written on the back of where it's made it just says 1983 LFL Lucas Films Limited but it doesn't say where it was made so I'm not sure I'm sure somebody in the comments can tell me that. And we're going to take these electro staffs and we're going to paint them. Now these electro staffs are not my design. I just found them on Thingiverse. But uh, they look pretty good. We're going to use this silver paint pen. It's just a cheap paint pen that I got as a, a pack from Walmart. In case anybody out there uh, wants to know where I got them, that's where I got them. It's good enough for what I'm doing here today. When you're 3D printing using a resin printer, you can see here that there is supports on the bottom of whatever you're printing. I left some of the supports on because when you're painting things, it's really convenient to use the supports to hold on to the item while you're painting so you can paint the whole thing in one go. And the reason why I'm using silver paint instead of gray is because I do have some 90s figures, early 2000s, of these Royal Guards, and the, all of their electro staffs are silver. So I'm going to be painting them silver so that when they're put on the shelf together, uh, they, they all kind of um, 
look like they go together. Besides, the gray was just kind of a, they weren't even painted gray. It was just a gray plastic that Kenner used. And, uh, you know, silver looks better. All right, so now I'm going to take all of these electro staffs and we're going to put a clear coat on them. And I've got spray paint to do that. So I'm going to take that out into my garage and do that. And these figures look fantastic. The clear coat is dry. They're going to stand the test of play and time. And they just look really great. I like all the different versions that I have here. And they look awesome. They're going to look fantastic on display. I've got some extra ones here that I'm going to save in case I get some more figures. And I'm going to be sending some off to uh, another YouTuber I'm just, uh, I told him I was going to send them a couple weeks ago, but I still have some printing to do and I wanted to send them some extra stuff. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of 3D printing accessories for your Star Wars or any other action figure. It's pretty fun. I really enjoy it. I find that the painting part is really relaxing. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I really appreciate your support. See ya.